stripper inflation. You know, <laughs> I don't think that's the right verse, but I, I've been saying that. I could, I, I'm probably saying it wrong. I don't know, but uh, it's stuck in my head right now. Facts. In five, four, three, two, one. What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fresh Talks. I'm your host, Fresh Philly. With your baby mama's favorite niece, What's up, buddy? What up, baby? Saturday. It is Saturday. It's early. We doing it a day early. Facts. Um, Thank first... God I came early. The marathon is going on. What marathon? The Philly marathon. No way. Yeah. So luckily, I think I'm it just is either just starting or whatever the case may be. But they got like Chinatown and downtown on lock. So it would have been a bitch to get here. So luckily, I got here on time. Dude. That... Today and tomorrow. So good luck if you're trying to get into the city tomorrow. Holy shit. Traffic is a bitch and a lot of streets are closed. So You know what's crazy? Last, uh, thir- uh, well, this Thursday it just passed. You know, I went out to eat w- with the wife and shit before uh, I'm busy. We'll work for like, Facts, for, like, like two months <laughs> for a month, basically. Pretty much. And I didn't realize like people really go out, out, right? So it's a Thursday, something in Thirsty Thursdays or whatever. If you were walking home and shit, shout out to Ryan. Shout uh, out to Ryan. I saw him walking yeah, on, fit, on 15th and I was like, oh shit. He's and, getting litty. No, he's getting no. off at the gym. Oh. <laughs> he's just leaving the gym, asshole. Hey, I would be getting litty. Nah, he responsible. He responsible. Uh, So, as we were walking, like, I'm just noticing people, like, going out or they just going home, right? Mm-hmm. And when we went to the new uh, new location of JD Sports, where H&M used to be, on 16th Street in the corner, on 16th and Chestnut. Let's see, I was just down there not too long ago. It's literally at the corner. Okay, yeah, I know where is it at. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I go in there. I'm looking, you know, and I see everybody, everyone, like female, male, kids. They're just looking at Asics, right? So I'm like, damn, this is this is really. The- I get to see it visually mm-hmm. in person, like the wave, instead, yeah. Instead of people just wearing it, taking a picture, yeah. I get to see it in person. I'm like thinking, I'm like. Yo, this is on some different shit. So when I brought it up to my wife, she was like, man, you guys are late. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> There's a difference between sneakerhead and modern culture. And dick riders. And and no. And um and nurses. Ah, true. You guys wear stuff to be comfortable yeah, with. You have no day, choice. Yeah, they have no choice. Yeah. They find it because it's a new fashion mm-hmm. choice. There's a difference. Facts. There's if, but then there's also people who are true sneakerheads. I'm not saying, like I do mean true, like that that touches every single brand. You know right. what I mean? Regardless of what the style is, because they just love the shoe. Now for me, I stick to my own bubble. I stick to my own, like my own circle, my own. Your I guess own, yeah. own bubble. Because I don't go outside that bubble. Unless I see something that I really like. You know True. what I mean? Like, I don't touch New Balance unless the 990H or whatever. <laughs> you try to been telling me, try to the what? The 960s. Fucking 60. amazing. I mean, visually looks nice because the bottom sole has like the little spread out. It looks mm-hmm. like, A little husky shoe. And, you know yeah. what it looks like to me, bro? What? Armor. Yeah, I could kind of see it. I, I look at it like a, I call them like kind of moon rocks because it's yes. a husky, yeah, yeah, some, yeah, like a moon moon rock boot type of yeah vibe. type of vibe, yeah. But I like them. The, no, the shoe visually mm-hmm. does look nice. Like I, I do like them. Like they're they're cute. They're mm-hmm. nice. But it's just like I don't know if I would. It's because it's just not me. Ah, right, fair enough. I would try the other models, but it's just it's like think about like the shoe. And then it comes out like a tree. You see what I'm saying? Uh because the bottom sole. Yeah, the bottom sole. Yeah, because I mean, it in general, out. it's a it's a husky shoe, like you a like bulky shoe. shoe. But you say you think it's comfortable too? Hell yeah, they're fucking comfortable. I wore them all day. Fuck both. You have the pairs. gray one, right? Gray and the black pair, mm. and they're comfortable as hell. I mean, as long as you're happy with your purchase, Damn right? Mm. I'm at that age now. I'm going for comfortable. Oh, now you're at that age, right? 
<laughs> now you at the age. Welcome, welcome to the welcome to the club, bitch. Well, that being said, y'all, happy. Well, when this comes out, it'll be what Wednesday. It'll be Wednesday, yeah. So happy be Saturday, early Wednesday. Early Wednesday, and then the next day is Thanksgiving. Yeah, so, so happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Make sure y'all be with y'all family if y'all can. If y'all don't have family, sorry for that. Go to the closest Boston Market, Wawa. No, nah, don't go to no fucking Boston Market. You don't like Wawa. Boston Market? Fuck no, Boston Market is trash. I had fuck. This was years ago, and I I never ever wanted to try it again. Um, there's the Boston Market right by my job. Mm, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Boss went and got me some lunch. I don't know what Boston Market sells, so I was like, if they got it's typical Thanksgiving food. But it's, I don't know. I don't know. I always got every time I went, I liked it. it Wifey says she doesn't like it. She doesn't care for it. Me neither. I like it. They could die for all I care. You don't you don't like one? Nah, what I think you they got me like this chicken sandwich, whatever the nah, fuck it was. You need to get I think half a rotisserie, right? Or rotisserie. like rotisserie. <laughs> Wait. Rotisserie. I've been saying rotisserie. It's rotisserie. You for real? Like rotisserie chicken? Yes. Yes, rotisserie. I've been, I've been saying rotisserie. <laughs> No one, I'm 32 years old. No one's five. I'm serious. Rotisserie. I've been pronouncing rotisserie. <laughs> I would laugh in your face if you ever came up to me and said that shit. Rotisserie. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, my whole world just like flipped. Because no one ever uh, corrected me growing up. All right. All right. Let's see what Google, how Google say it. We're doing this live. This man is fucking shot. Rotisserie. 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 Jesus Christ. Here we go. Hold on. Rotisserie. Rotis. I'm trying to think how I spell it. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me turn it up one more time. Rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie. <laughs> Yo, his face. <laughs> well, welcome to America, big boy. Fuck you. You shouldn't be talking, asshole. I know, because you voted for Trump. So I did not oh. vote for Trump. <laughs> Yo, this man really shy. <laughs> Rotisserie. Rotisserie, yes. Okay. It's easier. You know, like, you say it. I feel like you just add that extra bullshit. I just never noticed it. Yeah, rotisserie. Rotisserie. Uh, <laughs> it's going to take me at least a, a year to get used to this. Anyways, so it comes with like rotisserie chicken. Sometimes there's turkey there and there's prime rib, right? There, and whatever is like the hot commodity at the time. Mm-hmm. Of course, you got the stuffing, uh, like mixed veggies, corn, yams, and other stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And you get like cornbread or, or, or roll and then you get like a slice of pie. I don't know. Like I said, that one time that they brought me food, I think it was like a chicken sandwich and I think it threw me off. I'm not too sure. It could have had mustard on it. I don't know. And I don't mind mustard but like that sandwich, I was just like, nah, bro, I can't do it. You just have to try like that, what they're known for. Yeah, you know like I saying? said, I never... It's like, going to, it's like if you go to a Let's say McDonald's, and you get a salad instead of a Big Mac. Who the fuck gets a salad at McDonald's? You never know. People do. They are some dickheads. Or going to Burger King, not get a Whopper, and get a chicken. No, like that's chicken like going fails. to Burger King, and get that fucking Impossible Burger. Kill yourself. No, it's actually not that bad. Kill yourself. It's not that bad. Kill yourself. You don't like anything vegan or like vegetarian. Kill stuff. yourself. Have you ever I hate, tried? I hated that fucking way. Yeah, I had some vegan shit before. It's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. Yep. You know the um the spot in Center City is on 18th Street. It's a hip city veg. You ever had that before? Fuck them. They just like honey grow. But you ever had them before? Nah. The cheesesteak? Nah. For what it is, it's bearable to me. I forgot. Where the fuck did I I I think it was a restaurant and we had Hip vegan. City Veg. I like Hip City Veg. It wasn't a Hip City Veg. It no, was, oh no, uh, you said Honey Grow. I like honey, but you know what I get? I get like Oh, I, I never had Honey Grow either. Never? Nah. Then you can't say fuck them. You no, never had I can them. say fuck them. They're trash. 
You have to try what I get. Okay, hear me out. You you, you had Pad Thai before, right? What's Pad Thai again? Oh, shit. Remind me. Thai, thai food. Yeah. It's like noodle stir fry noodles. Oh, yeah, with yeah, like yeah, Spicy yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet and sour yeah, sauce yeah. with shrimp and tofu in it with bean sprouts and eggs. I never had tofu in it. Well, sometimes, had, sometimes they add tofu. I just had the, the shrimp one and then you pour that on it and you mix it. And they have lettuce at the bottom? No, you got no. the vermicelli. Okay. That's vermicelli. Well, you use the fish sauce, right? I guess. It's, it's like a red, it's like chili. Orange. Uh, fish yeah. sauce. Okay. So Thai food, I got to take you. We got to try Thai food for you then. Pad Thai is like, think of think of what you basically had, right? Uh-huh. But minus those type of noodles, get rice noodles instead. And it's like tamarind. It's very good. It's it's really sweet. It's spicy. It's sweet and sour type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's very good. Um, basically, I make that with at Honey Grow, and it's 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 good. It's not fire, but it's good. You know what I mean? Because it's it's made to order. Like they yeah, clean everything to, in front of you. Yeah, right in front. Yeah. It's like 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 hibachi on fast track. <laughs> Never I, had hibachi either. Me neither. Yeah, never had it. Bro, I think I, I said this on the podcast last week. I never had sushi until I was like 20 yeah. in college. Yeah, it was wild. 18, 19, 19? No, 20. 19 no, or 20? 19 or 20. Because I never was a fan of sushi. Bro, I like visual. It's not fan. It's I, not appealing. It doesn't look well. It it's doesn't know what to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah fair enough. Because when you don't, you're not familiar with something, you don't know what to get, you just don't want to try it. Facts. You know what I mean? The only reason why I try tacos is because I saw pineapple. My fat ass was like, ooh. Yeah, of course you did. So I put pineapple yeah, on pizza. Yeah, I do want some, some al pastor tacos. See, right you're, all you do is eat your kind of food, your people's food. Not really. I eat everything, but the problem is it's hard to find good places. Like soul food, there's a spot up in North Philly. I'm pretty sure you heard it. Heard, uh, Countries, uh, countries cooking or, or something like that. She she is like famous on IG. Her food is good, but bro, I'm not paying thirty dollars for a platter, and I'm not waiting an hour to get a platter either. So that's the uh, Jamaican food. There's actually a Jamaican spot around my way that I want to try. I've been getting Jamaican food at work, near work, and they're actually not. yo. I'll say Jamaican this. food is bomb because uh, uh, remember at don't sleep in Jersey. So I'm also not going Jersey, to get Jersey, food. Jer- Jer- Jersey food like in if, Jersey is actually like, because you think like Jersey is trash, you think everything else is trash. Not really, because I've been to like the nice parts of Jersey, I guess. Um, no, like trash isn't like boring. Ah, uh, there's really not much. Yeah, yeah. to me, it's not really it, much to do. Besides from. us going to the mall, there well, so there. That's it, and the yeah. farmers market. Farmers but like, if nice. I'm in Jersey, yeah, I will go try the food. But like, I won't just be like, "Fuck, let me go to Jersey to go grab this." But um, I nah. I usually before. I think I I do. <laughs> I did that no, nah, not me. Y'all fucking wild. I mean, like I said, I don't mind trying food. I think it's more just like how convenient it could be for me. So it's more about convenience at the yeah. time because you're just getting off of work. Type getting of off of work, and plus, um, like we have this Dominican spot that's around our way right there on Lehigh. Um, mm. uh, at principal, uh. It's like a little buffet style. Don't you know how like Chinatown they have like the little I know what you're talking about. something just like that. But after a certain time, you get what's basically right. what's left over. Yeah, and sometimes it's good. And sometimes it's like, yeah, but you eh. can't, you can't like when it comes to hot food buffet style. Yeah. Like that, whatever they make. They, it's come on. You can't yeah. get mad at them. That's what I'm saying. But like, yeah, they open till like eight or nine. But like, I'm getting fresh off of work. I already know that's like. The leftover shit that nobody... The one that you showed in the chat, right? Yeah, yeah. when I had the meatballs. Yeah, and, yeah bro, so fucking... Funny. That looks good. I want some of that today. You know what? Talking about, like, do you know why I hate, though? Sometimes rice and beans. Since we talk about Caribbean food, Jamaican food, and, like, Puerto Rican food, I don't like rice and beans together. I like them separate. But the only time I like them mixed together is the barbecue beans. You're a whore. It's so weird. you don't like arroz con gandules, the mix, uh, the it. Puerto Rican one? I don't mind it. But if I had to choose, you get what I'm saying? Well, I never had they, the barbecue. Like the bush beans cans. I like never had it like that. I love it. It's so good. Eat that with hot dogs. Oh, or hot links. Oh, Brian, Brian saw me. That's, oh, all, all joking aside, right? At work, me and Brian was called Rush Hour because he's black <laughs> and I'm Asian. <laughs> 
when we used to sit together, we only sat together because he saw me wear. Uh, no, we we started walking by each other, right? No, he thought you were cute because um, I was wearing an AI shirt or whatever. I forgot how like we just like you know started talking and shit. Yeah, and one day we sat down and lunch together, and he saw me eat hot links at, with rice and egg, and he looked at me like, "Is that hot links?" I'm like, "Yeah, with eggs and rice." Like, and he was like, "You must." Like he was like, that's the most non-Asian shit. That's like, it's like, right. like it's Asian only because it's the rice, well, the rice fact. <laughs> but we were just like, you know, that's how we became friends and shit. It's just like, that's funny. Food, food brings people together. Oh, that's, that's fact. And that's another thing. Like, I hope everyone spends time with their family this uh, next week. Please be safe. Please drive safe. Please be responsible. Do you know DUIs are mainly around Thanksgiving and Christmas? Yeah, because everybody's getting litty and they mm-hmm. want to go back home. So please drive safe. Facts. If you, if you, if you, if, yes, exactly. Crash on the couch or crash in your fucking car. No, don't. don't in the don't back. Be, yes, but the, not the keys. Not the not keys in the there. Yeah, yeah, so you don't, like, get in trouble. But be safe out there, y'all. Please. Now, that being said, today we got a couple of things to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about the new release, the Black Cement. Black Get Cement threes, the reimagines. Uh, do a comparison because I have the 2018 pair, and I have the 2012 pair, and I have the 08 pair. The 08 pair we're not going to use because that shit talking. That shit barking. Um, we're going to talk about like some flaws that came out that a lot of people are upset about as well. Facts, I would. Um, we're going to talk about a little bit about sneaker collaboration. Uh, we're going to talk about Stephen Smith joining the Crocs. Crocs. Uh. People are doing these mystery box sales, but they're doing zero or I say a thousand dollars, zero and a hundred and sixty. I'll do zero. And then, last but not least, is it okay to get criticized when it comes to sneakers? That being said, y'all, we gonna start off with uh, the Black Cement Threes. So facts. Uh, you must have called me Brian, oh, bitch. I was about Brian. to slap the shit out of you. I ain't no uh, princess. You act like one. First of all, bitch. Can you please no, grab fuck you. Call Brian to do it. Bitch. I will pop you. <laughs> grab the shoes, please. Which ones? Yours. Uh, grab both of them. You have one and I have one. So, like, the reimagined Black Cement 3s, right? From this year, 2020, uh, 2024. Visually, like, are you happy? Uh, for the most part, yeah. My pair didn't come as fucked up as other pairs. Uh, Are we still recording? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. Heard, we heard a little beep and yeah. we got scared. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah no, like, visually, like you still the accounting, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it moving. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Cool, okay, cool. Okay, okay. Cool. 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 Uh, yeah. Visually, I'm I'm happy so far. The sneaker all around on both pair, or like mm. on both shoe, is consistent. Um, elephant print looks good for the most part. It's a little lighter than previous pairs, but you know, like the crevices. The is crevices, not as dark. yeah, it's not as dark. Um, uh, I have. I mean, it could be just my eyes playing tricks, but like a little stitching. It's not as as super even, but like it's not as flush. It's well, not it's as flush, yeah. yeah. But like overall, like I'll give this a good solid, like. Give it an eight. Eight? Yeah. I'm going to ask you this. But the, the issue, like, the problem I'm having with your pair, as you see at the bottom. Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like somebody worn. worn. Yeah. yeah, but it's not. Not, like, worn, worn, but look like somebody, like, tried them on, got some dirt yeah. on them, and put them back in the box. Because usually it should be clean. But, like, uh, let me see with your black light. I think one of the pairs had, like, it wasn't It wasn't even that bad of a, of a glue stain. Mm. But, uh, yeah, like, right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, just regular, like, over, like, residue glue for the most part. Yeah, there's glue stains. Not horrendous. Not horrendous, but it's like, like, yeah. It's better than where it could have... Could have been, yeah. Yeah. So, for the most part, like I said, I give it a good solid eight. Yeah, like I said, those little glue stains and whatnot. And like I said, the leather's consistent on both pairs. Uh, I remember I showed you my boys pair. Yeah, yeah. One was like smooth leather. The other ones was like super. Are these? I mean, visually, it the the leather 
the leather looks good. The leather looks good on these. Like, you can't complain. I feel like you got, like, there could have been more. You could have had a worse pair. I could have had a worse yeah. pair. And I would have been upset because I've seen people. Would getting... you have returned them? Fuck yeah. If, if it was like. If it was bad, I would have returned them. Automatically. Automatically. Because I've seen people, like I told you, some bulls, elephant print was like stitched all wrong. Yeah. Um, some elephant print came like Kyle. Remember how our uh, lightnings came? Yeah. Like it looked like it got wet. And yeah. it just some, I seen a picture where like the elephant print here got all, it looked like it got wet and it just stayed like that. Um, the back tab on the threes were like unstitched. So yeah. if it was that bad, I would have sent it yeah. back, bro. Yeah, because the back, uh, someone had a, the back tab was ripped off or got yeah. stitched on, like you just said. Elephant not probably done. Uh, the shoe leather had different textures. Yeah. Than other. So one shoe would be all like semi tumbled. Yeah. Another one would be smooth. smooth. Yeah. Like it was just. Yeah. No. Nah, when it, if it would have came like that, I would have definitely you just, just got lucky in the bottom. Yeah, I got happy. Dirty. Which I mean, they're gonna get dirty anyway. Yeah. But yeah, for the most part, like I said, I'm happy. I give it an eight. But the and smell, like you said, the smell was weird. Yeah, the too. smell was different this time. They could be foo foos. But like. Like, the smell isn't the typical Jordan sneaker smell. Nah, it smells like something different. Yeah, it's just like a different smell. Which it is... kind of smells like... Like, don't you know when you spray an empty... Empty uh, paint paint spray can? I don't know. I never sprayed a paint uh, spray can before. He was never a hoodlum. Yeah, it kind of smells like that. I forgot you was a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the one that got arrested between you and me? All right. First of all, that was not a real arrest. Okay. <laughs> arrest and arrest, don't ask. <laughs> no, it's but not. no. Visually, like this is this this is this really does look good. Like, would you put this in your top five this year? Um, or top of my fault, top ten? Honestly, a lot a lot of heat didn't drop this year, so I'll probably put it top five. Top five, for you? yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, time to look at the princess pair. 28 pair, 2018 pair, which is my pair. Um, The first thing I've noticed off the rip is the tumble. Mine's yeah, more like more tumbled, tumbled, tumbled compared to yours. Yours yeah. is smooth compared to mine's. The elephant print, the crevices is darker. Way darker. 10 times, yeah. 10 definitely. times darker. Um, The Nike Air on the back is similar. But, like, besides it being yellow because mine's older, yeah, it's not bad. Other than that, honestly, bro. Oh, also the tongue. That oh wow, you have a a pink thing with your tongue. A what? So, before I reach, I show you the thing. The tongue. Mm-hmm. You see, how, like my the the back, the inner uh-huh. is the red is out more. Yeah, yours is out, not out at all. You see not how true. like you can. See, yeah, you can't yeah, see yeah, the red, red on the top. Yeah. But look. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Paint? Paint on the red. Red red paint on the tongue. The fuck? I didn't even notice that. Bro, I, when I look at shoes, bro, and I don't even have my contacts on. That's the thing. Don't, 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 don't scruff it. Let it be. But yeah. Actually, you know, let me check the other fucking Yeah, thing. Check, check the other one. Nah, this one's okay. And of course, the major giveaway for my shoe is since it was sitting in the box for like a good amount of time. Uh, the 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 shimmies, the the shinies, the sprinkles. Oh yeah, the yeah, glitter, yeah, the glitter. Brian, <laughs> shout out to Brian, little glitter biscuit. He got mad that I call him. What I call him? A princess? I don't know what he said. I remember he said something about it. No, he said something, and he said "fuck you." Yeah, fuck you too, you little princess bitch, glitter biscuit. But no, like stick liquor, stick liquor. <laughs> wow, we are getting canceled today. No, we're not. I ain't saying nothing bad. Well, yeah, Fucking like 13. honestly, like the shoe itself is is nice. Comparison, there's really not much big of a difference. Nah, I just uh, like I said, even the shape, elephant print, the shape is kind of similar. No, but yours is more like the tongue is isn't yeah. out as much. Yeah, so as you can see, like even when mine's just sitting, it goes up more. Uh, more yeah. So regardless, like I said, it's just the elephant print and the the tumble leather. Yeah, I'm pretty sure after a few wears, that tumble leather is going to crack through. 
Who, yours? Yeah. Think so? Yeah. You can put those back. Because I've actually been wearing mine. Like, I've been wearing all my sneakers good. I think the only two pairs I still haven't worn, maybe three, the TSs. I oh, haven't God. worn my TSs yet. I haven't worn the Lover Boys yet. <laughs> You yeah, haven't worn the Love Boys yet? Fuck no, because it's fuck Drake right now. Oh, true, true, and, true, true. Uh, did I wear my clear jades? I don't. I want to say no. But yeah, that's only three pair I haven't worn yet out of my whole collection. I don't know what to say on my end. <laughs> Your shit is still, what, like 70%? One? Yeah. Yeah. 30% none. Yeah. That was about right. Like, I know for a fact all those shoes up there mm-hmm. uh, haven't been worn. You start wearing them. I Because one I'm, day you're going to open that box and you're going to see that shit crack and you're going to be upset. I know. I just don't have time, bro. It's like, where to go to Bill, the grocery Shout store. out to Bill. Bill will be like, what the fuck? Yeah, you're just going to sit there and not wear it. Facts. <laughs> I feel like I'm a more sneaker bro, hoarder. I, I, I think I'll wear them just to even go get a haircut. Come back, clean them off, and put them back. I would never wear a frere, a frere, a brand new pair, fresh shoes ever to a fucking haircut. That is, you're just wanting a death note. How? Hair is going to be all over your fucking shoe. From my experiences, no. It like, cause your shoe, your feet are covered. Yeah. Or because of the, what's that thing? The, the cape. cape. Yeah. The barber cape. Call it the barber yeah. cape. That being said, I get it, but the fact you're walking on it is just like you never know. For example, if you wear these today, right? Mm. It'll be all in the crevices and shit. Yeah, but that's why you... And you never know. It could be like in here all for... And it's... It, yeah, the inside, I get it, but for the most part, like I said, I don't... You never know. That's all like... You know what I used to do? What? I wear slides. Or my gym slides shoes. Slides is even worse. Because you know why? I could throw away the socks. True. And all I do is smack the slides, pop, pop, and everything comes off. True. Right? True. But I nah, I mean. I'm just saying. I like, never had issues. I never did either when I used to get haircuts, but it's the um, the chance I'm not willing to take. So, yeah, true. you know what I mean? But yeah. um, Black Cement 3 is definitely a good shoe this year. Uh, So I feel bad for those who, who did it get it properly done like the pairs that yeah were i felt bad for them i feel bad uh i wonder if uh it's gonna be sitting in the outlets then like the, the flawed ones or are they gonna keep them proud nah um yeah depending on how people are if they do return them they probably will sit in the outlets oh, and if i could get it for like a super cheap price then i'll cop another pair you would yeah and dog the the b grade so this like is that. a shoe that you want to um i wouldn't say double stock uh yeah, pretty much. Double up. You might and if I could get it, like I said, if I could get that B grade for cheaper, then I think we, everyone got the B grade for normal price. Facts. Well, I don't think they have. I, don't, I haven't seen Nike done a B grade shoe in like forever. Everything is no. Nah, they did the Carmine. The Carmine yeah, 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 Car- They did. They yeah, did but that's B-grades. that's like three years ago. Yeah, but I mean, still recent enough. Is it? Yeah. You consider that recent? Yes. Yeah, I consider great. recent, like anything, like in the year. Or at least two years. Fair enough. That's like borderline, like, it's been a while. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I don't know. We still talk about COVID, and that shit's been like, what? I haven't. Mm, I still hear about it. I don't. I really haven't. So, moving forward, right? Do you think collaborations and sneakers, or collaborated sneakers, are overplayed? Hell yeah. Super you think you think you think from like primarily this year, everything is coming out that's collaboration this collaboration that. Are that's you tired of it? it? Yeah, cause like ain't really much changing, bro. And I don't really. It's like a it. different colorway. Yeah, it's different colorways. I don't see much shit popping. Like, fuck, the Travis did even drop another one because I haven't heard that motherfucker's name in a minute. He is. He's yeah. dropping one, uh, I think, next week. Yeah, like, nah. I, f- yeah, I feel like these collaborations are overplayed, man. Like, I guess well, whoever is around, they trying to keep some type of money flowing. But, yeah, these collabs are, are, are getting fucking horrible. And some oh. of these collabs are disgusting. What's that? Again, you got these 
Oh, his drop was on the twenty sixth, right? Uh huh. Um, the CJ, the CJ one T Rex. These fucking disgusting. But people like them. I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm gonna try to cop the flip. To be honest with you, I'm not even acting like I won't. If if the money's good. Oh, actually, speaking of that, so you know, StockX admitted, yeah, that they can't verify. So uh, no, they <sighs> verify, but they had shitty authenticators. Yeah, so I mean, they can't verify if it's a good sneaker or not. The thing is, what people's, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure it will. How will like that? Because you know, everybody goes to StockX for market prices. Like, you know me, I'll be that type of asshole. Like, well, they can't even tell you if it's a fake sneaker or not. So why would I base off of a price from a company that don't even know how to authenticate? Okay. So, like, say these Travis Scott's, how much would resale be? Let's let's check StockX. What? For the... For the Travis that's about to drop. CJ1 T-Rex. I think it's around four, four-ish right now. CJ1 T... Uh, T Rex. Two X's. All right, so right now for a size for my size twelve, they're going for four hundred and seventy three. Yeah. If I go down to like three fifty, see, I'm not that asshole. Be like, well, StockX can't authenticate sneakers, so I want seven, and I have what a legit pair. Oh, like if yeah. uh, if they try to upcharge you, yeah, try, then walk away. No, but like that would be me. Like, let's say, like, let's say a reseller is like, well, they're only going for four. I pay you three, and I'll be the asshole. Like, well, StockX can't even authenticate. I have yeah, but it here. doesn't matter seven. about the the authentication. Everyone uses it for the market price. Yeah, but like again, market price has nothing to do with. Well, it does have to do. It does, yeah, because it's authentic. Exactly. But at the same time, you can still use it on eBay as well. eBay looks the same thing around the same market. If True, not more. but I haven't even heard eBay besides that when we went no, to SneakerCon. But they don't really eBay. promote like that. What? Uh, eBay for like because it's it's you they don't have they don't need that that graph you True. see because at the end of the day all you have to do is a lot of people what they do is take a picture like look I'll show you like on the app on sneak on uh stock app yeah. right right there the barcode yeah a lot of people would do that it would be a lot easier so for example you have the box on me yeah let me see for example right oh shit continue sorry. Sorry, I'm just showing him like, how to do this. It's a fake box. See, that shit don't even work on StockX. So it works. Why, would I, why would I try StockX? See? Because yeah, your phone didn't fucking zoom in properly, asshole. So I could buy it right now for 203 Yeah. Nah. So what I'm saying is, all I'm saying is like, even eBay does it. I have the eBay, right? Mm. I think eBay. Let me show y'all. I mean, let me show you primarily while we talk about this. Mm. I don't know. I'm just that asshole. I would have been like, no, and, the, and like, I'm not saying your your shit's not. Uh, here, give me the barcode again. Oh, boom! See, that's the same thing. One forty nine. The only difference is you have to do more legwork on here. Compared to this, true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody selling it for three twenty. That's wild. Mm, I don't know. Like I said, me, I'd just be an asshole. I'd be like, well, yeah, app is fake. Mm, they admitted to it. They did, they but it's not it. the StockX company itself. Yes, it's it the is. workers. It's, it's still a company. No, they're I'm not saying like you. I'm. There's a fine line. It's still like it's still their fault. Yeah, but I'm not saying it's. It's primarily, I'm not saying it primarily is their fault. No, it's their fault, bro. Super primarily. If I'm your brother and I'm the racist motherfucker and I throw your name around, is it your fault? Yeah, because why would I let you slide? You're not getting the point. I am getting the point. No, you're not. Yes, I am. It's not your fault, though. Like that. But it's not your fault. Because at the end of the day, I will do what I want to do compared to how you see shit. Same thing, like, let's say OJ. perfect, Perfect example, OJ. Oh, no matter what he do, what he do is on him, not on you. Not regardless if he's your little brother or not. True. You get what I'm that's still a little different. This is a company. You know no, how? No, I know. I know, know it's different. Mm. But I'm giving you the analogy of understanding. Yeah, 
that because he represents you as your little brother. True. Those workers represent a stock X. True. I'm not saying stock X should get a slide. I'm saying those fucking authenticators should fucking get in major trouble. No, stock X should get that trouble because they hired those authenticators. Maybe the authentication was they nah, they they nah, fucked fuck it that, up. Fuck that. From what I learned in the corporate world, it's a corporate's fault. You can't always point. This is said, bro, because they're the ones that points. hire you, bro. Alter, maybe they did did it right the first time, but after a while, they didn't give a fuck. Yeah, but you don't. There's not a one thing like one. That's why you're on. That's why people get probation periods. Look at I'm that Prince of Breon. That's why he was on that ninety day parole. I feel like because he was still black, they made him go through that ninety day. That's every work job though. I never got probation period. Your job is different compared to ours. Even when I was in corporate world, I never got a, per, a ninety day. But think of the company that me and him are working for, bro. Like they, if you worked in there, you will survive. But I feel like other, like, like other percent of people would not, because the work labor in there is ridiculous. It's the fact that because when I was on that, when I first started three years ago, well, almost three years ago, mm-hmm. like it's not walk on eggshells. It's more so look, this is a trial run, and if you get it, if you pass this trial run, uh-huh. then you are safe. That's basically verbally when you say you're on prob- work probation because you just started, it doesn't mean you have to walk on eggshells. It means, look, eyes are on you. Let's see how you work. That's it. True. Because if you, because if you fuck up multiple times, either we try to fix it or you get fired or let, not fired, but more so let go. You get what True. I'm saying? It's It's a trial run. That's all it is. It's primarily a trial run. There's like he's not in trouble. I wasn't in trouble. Like we weren't like microscopic, like paid attention to every single moment when we were at our job. That's true. It's just it's a trial run. They're they're just looking at us. Okay, paying attention to us a little bit more to see how we're doing. Other than that, they don't give a fuck, bro. That's facts. I just never had a trial run at at work. Yeah, because this. This isn't really compared to what I work at. Shit, the way they was running it, it was. As Bob. You should know. He fired motherfuckers left and right after like a day or two. Yeah, but that's him. No, that's because you, the but, company told him to. Was it? Yes. Or does he have power? Or does he no, power he has to run it through the big people. Exactly. Yeah. But then people take it serious. People, some people don't. I I'm say, no, I'm saying like those, those higher. Ups. I was gonna say if Dre stood there longer than other people, then you should know something is wrong. Something is wrong. Yeah. A lot. There's always flaws in everything. Shout out to boy, boy, Dre. Boy. You just said that. There's Shots flaws in everything. No, no, okay. No. So this is funny. Hear me out. Dre was a great worker. But it was just that. his mouth. Yes, but you, a hundred percent agree. Mm-hmm. But you just said. Every company has flaws. Yes or no? You just said that. Yes, yeah, true. Boom. But yes, yeah, but still, stock still... X. I'm not like I said. I'm not trying to justify. I'm just in showing you the like bigger yeah, picture. No, I get it. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's still the company's fault because they hired those people. No, it's part is is not primarily their fault. It's part. No, they're part it of the is fault. Their fault. It's part of their fault. It's their fault. Because they got hired. Okay, it's like saying this. You it's a. Let's say you get in a fight tonight, right? Okay. I hope you don't. But let's say you do. Okay. okay? Let's say you get, you get actually know, matter of fact, you get in a fight with a relative. Okay. This will make more sense. You get in a fight with a relative. Mm-hmm. You knock him out. Mm-hmm. All right? It looks bad. Mm-hmm. Your aunt or your uncle blames your mom because she gave birth to you. Yeah. They're going to be like, you ain't raised your son like that. But that's not. You're a grown ass man. You get it to It don't choose. matter. Bro. bro. I know your mama beat your ass when you went to jail. No, she said, I love you for the first time. Damn. Damn. <laughs> like, it took it took you to go to jail to, say, to tell you I love you. Maybe she thought you wasn't coming back out. Probably. She thought your booty hole was on the line. Stupid. But you get what I'm saying? I'm, no, I get, I'm, I get, realistic. I I'm like, yeah, their stock X company as a whole is part of their fault. But also, we're not going to blame out that. Fuck stock X. If you don't like stock, stock, that's fine. But you're not gonna blame the authenticators. Yes, I am. That's the thing. Like, why are they held accountable too? And that's the issue I'm trying to look think and look at. They're authenticators. 
But they, that I want to see the hiring process. That's what I want to see. Because if you can hire these dickheads off the street, then and and supposedly, supposedly, uh-huh. they have pamphlets to show you which shoe is legit. Like there's legitimate. Like let's say for example, you randomly have the those fire reds right there. Yeah. There's pamphlets that show you what. So it's like they're not really. Are they not giving you a sneaker and telling you to look? I that's what I'm hearing. It's this is that's all kind of music. stupid. I mean, think about it. Like, okay, like, I will. I understand the pamphlet to to. If you let's say for example, you have never seen this sneaker before, can you really legit check this shoe? No, but you like if you know sneakers good enough, you know little things to look for. Like besides the Jordan like stitching, one, the squeezing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, squeezing is true, but like you could look for stitching. You could look for like miss, uh, like misalignment on like certain shit. Like you, if you're, I guess above average from the normal yeah. people, you kind of know what to look for. Yes, but let me ask you this: Do you think they hire above average? And even if so, you think above average sneakerheads that can authenticate will actually take a job from them? Depends. I don't know. We gotta see what their hiring process is, like you said. That's like I said. That's the only thing I want. I'm not like I said. I'm not defending. I'm. I just want to understand the process. True. I'm talking about process. Yeah. Joel beat his ass. Facts. Yo. So that so can friend. I? Do you yeah. Well, I'm seventy six is fault because they gave this man all this fucking money and all he do is bitch and fucking complain and trust the process for how many years he been in the league now? Six. No. Seven? It's like nine or ten, bro. Is it nine or ten already? I think so. I've been hearing Tristan Precious for fucking ten years. He's in his bitch ass already. Let me ask you this. So all the time that I was slandering Pete, <laughs> slandering Embiid, am I wrong now? <laughs> no. Thank you. Well, I've seen it. I've seen it. Like, I've seen this way before, but I, was, I kept peace because all, all the right, homies. The first two, three years, I was like, okay, well, I'll give him a try. And then what year did he like really stepped up to the plate? The year when he went against MVP with uh, Joker. Joker. That was the year he kind of like stepped up more. Then it was just like. Um, uh, all I'm going to say, all I want is my due diligence. Yes, you got it. You okay, got thank it. you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I would, I, you know, because when I speak basketball, I speak yeah. facts. I don't, I don't speak with fucking emotions. Facts. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, we'll we'll see how that goes because that that shit that shit was funny. But yeah, um, so back to the collaboration. <laughs> we got off topic, way off topic. Are you, so you're tired of seeing it? Hell yeah, I'm super tired. Of so you think this right? year is like the year of collaborations? Then that's probably why. Yeah, but like I don't know. Again, I hear of these collabs, and I'm just like, bro, nothing really changes. Color schemes are disgusting. And half of these collabs people do, I don't even know them. So. Well, you can look them up. We have the I internet for a I reason. Don't, I don't feel like. If I don't like it, why would I waste my time? Just to understand it. For what? I don't like, like the, the the brand. The brand Awake uh, NY, right? Mm-hmm. That's a cool brand. Mm-hmm. It represents mm-hmm. basketball and it represents the, the heart of New York, right? Fair. Of well, New York City. Like the they did the collab recently, airships. Now these aren't that bad, but it's it's not that amazing either. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But it's a cool shoe. It's still a cool shoe. Hey, did you uh did you look did, have you seen the olive olive nines in person yet? No, are they nice? Yeah, I like them. Oh, like I know I know they I know they're still silly. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I, I know they're still silly. Um what's that, two twenty five pair? Uh I think it's two twenty. Mm. Uh, Steve Smith joins Crocs as head of creative innovation. He, if y'all know who he is, who Steven Smith is, he's the former Yeezy designer. What you think? You think you're excited to see this? I look you want to see what kind of Crocs he dropped. Like he could, what he like uh, I know you're a Croc fan, so yeah. I have no reason why we're talking about if, this. If if he if he makes it look like Yeezy type of shit, like the Yeezy slides or something, I'm gonna be like, nah, I'm good. But if he does something different, I'll be like, okay, let me see. I want to see what he drops. Let me ask you this. What more, like the Soleil, the Soleil Benberry Crocs, do you even like those? Which ones are those? you never seen those? Dude, they, they're like the hottest commodity. 
for a minute. Pause. Salehi, sorry, Salehi Benberry. Like those. All right, see that colorway is fucking freaky as shit. But like something plain like that, like a like a oh, yeah, stone, yeah. yeah, those are cool. So like you see how like the the shoe it looks like crevice. You know what this shoe reminds me of visually? What the face of uh of uh, uh oh what's that what's that Freddy Krueger? His face. Oh, because of the burnt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it looks like to me. Uh, I mean they're cool. I don't know why people would like like them, but you're you you're willing to be a fan for this, right? Yeah, I want to see I want to see what he drops. Like I said, if it's something cool, I'll be down for it. If it's something too close to easy, then I'm a black like, yeah. yeah. Why well, wouldn't they do like so? You see how like the the, the silhouette of a, a croc, right? Yeah. But visually, like the like the structure and everything, it looks just like that, but with uh. The 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 foam runners, uh-huh. but it, the 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 style, but put on top of a croc. Would you? I gotta see how it turns out. No, just like the the visual style. Yeah, 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 just yeah, put yeah. On top of a croc. So think about this: you cut. Let's say you cut the the the, the foam the foam runners open, right? Flat it out. Yeah. And just foam it around. No pun intended. Foam, foam it around. Yeah. The, the the pair of crops. No lie, that look like it might be comfortable as shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because so Crocs are already comfortable. And a lot of people are... said foam runners are comfortable. Yeah, too. but foam runners aren't for me. Next, so everyone's been doing these mystery box flips. Uh, like I said earlier, it was like a hundred dollars or a thousand and six hundred or sixteen hundred, which is stupid. And I've seen people won like 1600 like the seller and i see people win zero but then the shoes in there being the delivery bags like um those Excuse you me. know those big delivery bags where like it has two straps the amazon joints yeah, 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 yeah. so it's like similar to those yeah right? they'll have all those shoes in there and hear me out they don't they don't know what's in there they just like look 1600 or zero or they'll be like fifteen hundred zero. Mm, so like if, if somebody buy them all, buying them all out. Yeah, that's a fucking gamble. You, they don't even open the bag. Yeah, box. that's what I'm saying. Because like, what if I just go in and sell all mids, and you're like, "Hey, I'll give you sixteen. I'd be like, and then I know what I got. I'd be like, "Yeah, take it, motherfucker." We're lost. But then again, I don't know. To me, I feel like that's too risky. I wouldn't do it. Like yeah, you're taking a big gamble. You might hit on something nice, but then again, this to me is still a big gamble. I wouldn't do it. You know what's crazy? I don't gamble. You don't gamble. You don't gamble. You don't gamble. No sir. No paga. No sir. You gamble. Me no gamble. You gamble. Let me ask you this, right? Because hear me out. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought because you said that gamble. Like, look at a typical Asian want to gamble. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to these prices, right? Uh-huh. It made me realize too, everybody is doing what I do. Low balling the shit out of everybody. Everybody, yeah. People are starting to realize we can't always pay top dollar for everything. Yeah, you can't, especially not this fucking economy, bro. The way this bitch is, I'm not paying you top dollar. Let me ask you this. If you really wanted the Black Cement 3s, right? Yeah. What's the let's say fuck the market right now? Just don't think about the market. Price. Okay, if it's a market pay? price and if it's if if I know the sneakers don't come fucked up, two twenty retail. I'll put you. I'll put you like two fifty, two sixty. That's just me though. I'm not pushing any more than that. No. That, yeah. 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 Two fifty, so, two sixty. But you always been on that type of mentality. Yeah. I've always been on that type of mentality. There's sometimes where I, they do budge for me, and they'll be like, "Oh, let me like, I was able to get cool gray fours for two, uh, two sixty, two seventy, or yeah. whatever. You know, breads for fucking one fifty, like black cements for one fifty. Like, bro, it's it. The list goes on and on. Yeah. Because imagine if I actually bought every single shoe that you'll be fucking broke. My collection will be 
t- yeah, two times. Two times, yeah. But also, this, um, the, the wa- there will be a wall behind. I you. gotta see it. Um, you also don't mind like slightly worn. Me, I don't know if if like the good example, like the space jams that I bought at that convention. Yeah, they were worn, but they wasn't like. You probably worn for like five hours. Yeah. At best. Like that, I wouldn't mind paying the two. He wanted two sixty. We talked him down to two thirty. That yeah. would have been cool. I told him no. Him. You okay. just said tell him two thirty, and I was like two thirty. Yeah, I gave you the price. I well, I was you was only ten bucks under me. I I was about to offer two forty. And guess who got you the two thirty? Because you me. If you said two forty, he would said mean, yeah, I know, but like that's why I didn't say it because in my head I was like mm, two forty. Do like that's that's the cheapskate. Yeah, true. That's why I was like, "What you think?" Two forty. He was like, "No, do two thirty. I was two thirty. Then he took it. But um, like that's a good example. Like those probably, are about, nice. He probably got it for re- he probably bought it for retail, retail for yeah. himself. He said it's his pair. Yeah, right? it's his pair. When people say, think of it like this: when people say it's their pair, mm-hmm. always assume they bought retail. I think also his, if, you, uh, if you do retail, if you think that, yeah, then that means if the shoe is even hot or not. Yeah, Maybe either low ball below retail or give him retail. retail. True, but you know, I think what helped me his lady. His lady was like getting rid of him because sit on for a while, probably because um, I remember saying two thirty, and he was about to rebuttal, but his lady was like, "Deal." I was like, "Bet." He took them. Well, he, she took the money. So, hey, shout out to her because I know I know in his face he was ready to be like you know like two fifty, two forty, whatever. But like that's what I'm saying. Uh, cause that same day, I think I, 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 I think I told you, I saw a pair of some type of sixes and they had like a little paint, a little paint stain yes, on I them remember, I remember. and no box and they were worn and the guy wanted like 90 uh, six, and I think I um, offered, I offered a bull 40 and he was like staring for like five minutes. I was like, bro, you got no box. They're kind of cooked. And I was like, you have this red paint. He was like, nah, I'm firm at 90. I was like, I'm good then, bro. Like, I don't want to sneak it that bad if it's... I've noticed when it comes... So, like, visually, I remember where we were at. Yeah. We're towards the end of the wall. Nah, we were no, no, in was... the entrance. Well, was it? Yeah, we was in the entrance, and it was the guy to the left, because he had, like, oh, a little... Oh, the beginning. Yeah, the beginning. No, oh. You're right because yeah. we're talking about. I'm thinking of another. No, no, no. It was the uh, Saints where we bought. It was the the, the Steeler? I guess you call it the Steeler Nine. Yeah, that was in the end of the wall. That's yeah, that was the other one. Yeah, nah. yeah. The charcoal Nines. There you go. Charcoal Nines. Yeah, but eh. but yeah. Would you ever gamble like that with with, with uh Me with no those gamble. the, the no those gamble. uh sneaker bags like that? Me no gamble. You wouldn't try? No sir. At all? No sir. Let's say for example, hear me out. Me no gamble. Five hundred. I don't know, 600 or zero, right? There's at least seven to eight shoes, only your size, in that bag. And they're all this. It could be it could be Jordan's A6, Nike's New Balance, Reebok. But it all equil- uh, like equivalates to that price. So even if... If I don't like it, I can at least sell it, get that yeah. money back. So, for example, a shoe, a shoe, each shoe could be worth like a hundred, hundred fifty, or whatever. Would you in that particular? If it's situation? like five hundred bucks, yeah, why not? Because you have like six to seven shoes. Yeah, there. if it's five hundred, yeah. Imagine all of them were just fucking all white on whites. I'll be fucking pissed at that point, bro. I mean, you can still sell them for a beam if they're fresh. But yeah, nah. I, big money. I don't think I would gamble like that. Like I see these influencers, they go to like that that one ball on the table for the coin flip. Yeah, maybe like ten grand or zero. I don't think I would. The, ever. Asian, the Asian boy lost his first one. That he he lost his PE shoe supposedly. But I think that was stage. I, I don't I just, know. I feel, I feel like because the most recent one he did was the Michigan Force. Yes. I think. Yeah. And he wanted ten k or zero, or, or zero and he lost and he ran off. But, like, I don't know how true that is. I think it's just stage. Because yeah, yeah. he, he did a video. He was like, I never lost my fours. I still got him. He did it. Like, so I'm pretty sure it's trolling. Yeah. But eh, I don't know. I don't think I would gamble like that. Would you? No. But you Asian. You no. gamble. No. Uh, there's, there's there's gambling to win money. There's gambling for, for stupidity. I'm not. No, I'm not there's doing both that. both if you go to the casino. No. 
Because I, 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 I can big and you can big or you no. can go in the negative. No, I either – no, I used to be the negative back then. I used to gamble a lot. You know. <laughs> Me no gamble. But that being said, like losing like 100 or two, mm. I, I, I could be okay with that. I can live that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But losing – over like anything past that, I'd be upset. Yeah, you know, what I mean, there's, there's, there's a, there's a limit to my sanity, bro. Fair. There's a limit. Fair. Um, what else? What else? Well, last but not least, when it comes to sneakers, everyone should be open to criticism, regardless of it being good or bad. Facts. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because the Lil Yachty situation. We're gonna talk about. It. I'll, I think we talked about it last week, but we'll talk about it again. Mm. Um. You saw the video of him being like upset about it and shit. I think I saw something, but I don't fuck with Yachty, so I just you don't like his music. I don't like I don't like him at all. He's like annoying. He's like that annoying little ass cousin that that like you hate <laughs> being around just because you know he's fucking the crazy. energy he gets yeah, off of you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but no, uh, I one I I get where you're coming from, but uh, I'll say this right. His sneaker IQ, it's up there. Mm. Like you have to respect that at least. But when it comes to him as a person, like, bro, his IQ is crazy. But then the concrete, he was upset calling that dude a dick rider, dick sucking, like crazy, this and the third. I'm like, bro, you can't you as as a sneaker influencer being able to work with Nike, you have to be able to face those criticisms. Yeah, I mean, you had to. Yeah, regard- what he did, I feel like I get why he was upset because this is his first shoe. So he, of course, he he You're he's like take player, it, yeah. But you have to. Be you have to, to understand. You have to kind of go with whatever is like hype right now. No, he what he's doing is he's bringing back that that vintage vibe where like Rockefeller, Rockefeller uh, forces. You know what I'm saying? He wanted that vibe, vibe, yeah. And I get it because Concrete Boys is his. Isn't isn't he, he? He dropped all of them, didn't he? I don't know. I I I, I remember hearing something. Him and Cranky, or him and his label, they his artists don't fuck with him. I don't know. I don't like. I said I don't pay attention to his music, hmm. but I like. I said I understand why he's being so defensive. Yeah. But at the same time, that was a in my opinion that was weak. That was weak on his point. Yeah. Like I said, I don't fuck with Yachty, so I care less. You hear what Kendrick say? I don't give a fuck who you hang with. He he, he said something about Yachty. Did he? Yeah. I don't even fucking know. Well, that being said, y'all, that is it for today's podcast. Please remember, drive safe, be safe on Thanksgiving. Facts, have fun with your family, eat all that food, don't throw nothing away, you dirty bitches. And uh, remember, remember to eat the turkey's booty hole. It's the best. And the bones. I never, I never really like turkey. I'll kill some ham. Of course. <laughs> swine eater. Hey, I ain't Muslim, my brother. <laughs> With the way I be touching swine, I might as well just give it up. Bitch, you won't even touch swine like that. I know something. I might as well just give it up. Y'all are disappointed. It's y'all are fucking disappointed. That being said, y'all remember, we are on Apple and Spotify and Pornhub. Jesus and only fans and fansly. What the hell's fansly? I don't know. Apparently, that's like the new, the new only fans. Oh Jesus Christ! We're, we're on Patreon. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> There's Apple and Spotify. Remember my IG, my TikTok, my YouTube at Fresh Philly two one five. Remember y'all. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. Enjoy Peace the day. holiday. Be safe, and we'll see y'all next week. Adios, bitches. Deuces. Peace.